Hello learners, uh, welcome to this program. I am Dr. Pankaj Mittal, Secretary General Association of Indian Universities and my parent office has been University Grants Commission where I have worked for 30 years and in between I was Vice Chancellor of a Rural Women University in Haryana. So today we'll be talking about the most innovative concept of national education policy which is ABC. ABC means Academic Bank of Credit. Now, why I'm saying it is the most innovative concept of uh, national education policy is because whenever I have discussed about ABC at any national or international fora, everybody is too much interested in ABC and they said this is something very, very innovative which will revolutionize the higher education system of India. It will totally change the landscape of Indian higher education system. So let us understand in very, very simple terms that what is ABC? So ABC full form is Academic Bank of Credit. Now what is Academic Bank of Credit? It is like in a commercial bank, you deposit money. In ABC, Academic Bank of Credit, you deposit credits. So how do you deposit credits? Like in a commercial bank, you open an account and deposit money. Here, the students open an account and deposit their credits. So for depositing the credits, they have to do courses from different universities. So how will it operate? That suppose I am a student, I will do say three courses from IGNO, two courses from Delhi University, three courses from Hyderabad University, four courses from say Kashmir University. So I will keep on doing courses from different universities and then I will as soon as I complete a course, the university or I will go to the Academic Bank of Credit and say that I have done this course from this university, these, this is my credit, I mean these are the credits I have earned from that particular course and this is the grade I have received in that course. So that will enter into sort of a passbook which will be maintained, I am saying passbook to make it very easy to understand. Like the passbook we have in a commercial bank where we have the entries of whatever we have earned and whatever we are taken out, there will be a passbook where we will be entering that what all credits we have earned. So how will it help me? It will help me because suppose I like some two, three courses in a particular university, some other courses in the next university and I also want to learn for example today if I am doing say BSA Physics Honours, so all the courses I have to do is the physics and related courses, physics and ancillary courses. But suppose along with the physics, I want to learn music, I want to learn history, I want to learn political science or sociology or psychology or arts, anything. I am not able to do it in the structured framework which is existing today. But when this ABC comes into being, it is already established. So when this ABC is there in this new concept, I can learn anything from anywhere. So sky is the limit. Any time I can do any courses from any university. So I will enroll in different universities, do the courses of my choice and keep on accumulating the credits in the academic bank of credit. Now what will happen to these credits? That when we have a large number of credits in, I mean suppose I have a large number of credits in my account and I want to redeem those credits into a degree, then I will go to a university from where I have done say 50% of the courses for it. Let us take an example to make it easy. Suppose I have accumulated 200 credits in my account by doing courses from different universities. Now I want a graduation degree where generally around 120 credits are required as mandatory, uh, mandatory credits and out of those 120 credits, 50% if they are done from a single university, for example, say take us the example of Delhi University. Suppose 50% of the courses are done from Delhi University and all the courses which are required for the core subject area, for example, if I am doing BSA Physics Honours, then all the courses which are required for uh, making me eligible to do Physics Honours, if that I have done, maybe not from Delhi University alone, but from multiple universities, but at least 50% are from Delhi University, then I will gather these 120 credits, I will sort of identify these 120 credits from my passbook and go to Delhi University and say that I have done 120 credits and 
in this all the core credits of physics are complete and 50% are from your university. So now give me a degree of BSc physics honors in lieu of these 120 credits. Then Delhi University, because it is a member of the ABC, it will be obliged to give me a degree of BSc physics honors uh, in lieu of those credits. And then what will happen to my bank account, credit bank account? Because I had 200 credits, 120 I have redeemed into a degree, so the remaining will be 80 in my account. For example, when you take out the money from your account, that money is debited and the balance in your account is less. Similarly, when you take out credits and redeem it for a degree, then the remaining credits will show or reflect in your passbook. Now, there are many questions associated with it. One, right now, the admission to a university is given in a full program. When I say program, I mean BA program, BSc program, BCom, MA, MSc, full program. But I am saying that I am doing courses from different universities. So what is the difference between a program and a course? For example, in BA, we have say 16 papers. So these are 16 courses. So that means Today the universities are giving admission in the full BA program means all the 16 papers you have to do from that particular university. But in future, the university will start giving admission in individual courses means to make it simple, individual papers. So those 16 papers of BA will be 16 courses and the university will be giving admission in individual courses also. And maybe the program route will continue that the students who are doing the uh, program route means full program they are taking admission in a particular university that will continue. But there will be a separate ABC route in which there will be admission in different courses. So the university will give admission in courses, different courses that will be over and above the admissions which are given to the full program. And the student will be doing courses from different universities and then redeeming those uh, credits into a degree. So that is the concept of ABC. But again, the universities have to work a lot for it because one, they have to start giving admission in courses. They have to amend their ordinances so that they can give admission in courses. They have to ensure that sufficient seats are there in those courses so that the two students can take admission. And that, that, that course can be physical, that course can be online, that course can be blended. So the universities can get, uh, the students can take admission in either of the forms depending upon what way the university is offering that particular program. So slowly, slowly, the students will be able to learn. I mean, and then it is not even necessary that the student takes a degree out of every course because getting a degree out of course will depend upon the validity of a credit. It is not possible that today I do a course from a, uh, say, particular university and after 20 years, I say that I want to redeem it into a degree. No, there will be a validity like the expiry date. That is, we also call it sunset clause with every credit so that uh, for example, right now we are thinking of having it as seven years. That within seven years, if you are going to redeem it into a degree, it is well and good. Otherwise, the credit will still reflect in your passbook. It will still be there, but you cannot redeem it into a degree. And that seven years is not very, very sacrosanct because it will depend upon the type of course. Because there are some courses, for example, in say artificial intelligence, data sciences, engineering, technology, which are very, very contemporary where the technology changes very fast. So the validity period of those courses will be small. But in some courses like say history, the validity period may be longer. So within the validity period, the courses or the credits can be redeemed into a degree. But beyond the validity period, of course, you won't be able to redeem the course into a the credits into a degree. But then you will be able to learn and keep on learning forever. So ABC is a concept in which you are having a, a concept of lifelong learning also because you can learn forever. But now this also comes to a a different aspect that is of teachers. So when you are talking of course wise learning, so who will be more popular? Which course will be more popular? Obviously the courses which are taught by the best teachers. So in future, the students will see that which course is taught by which teacher and which teacher is the best teacher. So those courses will be the sought after courses. So that will also mean that in future, the Teachers assessment will also be through the number of say students who are taking the courses which are offered by those teachers. So it is very important for the teachers to keep on updating themselves, to keep on learning, unlearning, relearning, 
so that whatever the courses they are offering, they are contemporary, they are liked by the students and they are using technology to such an extent that the courses are very uh, sort of, they are able to, they are engaging courses. The teacher is able to engage the students in those courses and that students are able to learn in those courses. It can be that a very good teacher is there in a bad university and not so good teacher is there in a very good university. So teacher centric courses will be there and the students will be liking the courses which are offered by the best teacher irrespective of the institution. And I also think that in future, the best teachers who are sort of the teachers may not like to work in a single university because they are sought after, their courses are like, their courses are offered by the students. So in future, a teacher may like to engage himself or herself with multiple universities offering courses on their behalf and be a sought after teacher. So ABC is a concept where there is a lifelong learning for the students and there is no embargo like when you want to learn, where you want to learn, how you want to learn. It could be online, it could be uh, face to face, it could be one university, second university, third university, it could be any course, it could be any point of time. So koi na umri ke seema na jarm ka bandhan, no bandhan at all. So this is, that is why I call it the most innovative concept of uh, national education policy because it is giving the total freedom to the students. Sky is the limit if they really want to learn. Sky is the limit and they can keep on learning, learning and learning, keep on earning degrees or even if they don't want to earn degrees, they can be learning because the future is also delinking of jobs with the degrees. So only the skill which you have acquired will matter. The knowledge which you have will matter rather than the degrees which you have earned. So ABC is a concept which is giving you an option to learn, to acquire skill and to be employable and to pursue your passion. So whatever passion you have, whatever you want to learn, so that type of opportunity is available with ABC and ABC is a concept which will be too much sought after not only by Indian students but even by the international students. So I think all the students will like it a lot and ABC will be something which you will be seeking very often to learn, unlearn and relearn. So thank you very much. Keep learning. Keep moving ahead. Thank you very much.